Hey guys, uh, recently I switched uh, from Maya to Blender. Now I'm gonna make all my stuff in Blender. And there were a couple of things which annoyed the shit out of me. So I had to make my own custom add-on to simplify my life and workflow. Uh, and yeah, it's uh, this thing that I'm gonna show you today. Uh, it's gonna be free of charge. It's gonna be on my Gumroad page, uh, link in description. But if you wanna throw a few bucks as a donation for a beer or something, you're free to do so. Uh, let me show you how to install it. Uh, by the way, I'm using Blender latest version, uh, 3.2.2, but uh, I tested the add-on in 3.1, it works fine. Probably it can work fine in lower versions, but definitely not the ancient one, the 2.9 or whatever. So after you download the zip file, you just go to add-ons and install and click the intense utility zip file. You don't have to unpack it and enable it and that's it. And now you have this one on the sidebar. So let me walk you through all the stuff that uh, this blend, uh, this add-on does. So wireframe or shaded, very useful, so you don't have to uh, go into edit mode and see this. I don't like that, I want to stay in object mode and see the wireframe, so very useful. Uh, then we have solid shading and uh, flat light. Uh, in flat light it's very very useful to see your texture, to see the... Um, uh, AO and all that like how the texture is gonna look in in completely flat light so and it doesn't matter in what mode you are you can always switch back to to this so even if I'm in uh, material preview and I click flat light it's always gonna go here so that is very very cool and by the way you can see that uh, some buttons are highlighted while others are disabled that means they work only in object mode like you can't use this in in object mode right Okay, so uh, auto smooth, you can basically turn it on and off from here and it's basically gonna click this button here, all right? And then you can set the angle from here with the slider, very cool. Uh, let me go, let me walk you through now those things. So if you go into edit mode, uh, we can have auto merge turned on and you can just snap vertices and now they are merging together. So instead of going to, I don't even know where the thing is, uh, somewhere here, anyway, auto merge, yeah. Instead of pressing this button, you just click it here and you can easily see if it's turned on or off, okay? Then preserve UV is um, correct face attributes, so it's basically you can move uh, with the texture and if we turn it off, like you're moving like this, okay? Uh, set normals to face, this is very very useful, uh, so let's maybe set the normals to this face, okay? If you have no idea what normals to face mean like you probably don't need to press this button uh, then you have show vertex normals and then you can increase the size from here again very very useful to see the the normals orientation okay and uh, you can disable it uh, show face center it's basically showing those tiny dots on the mesh uh, on and off uh, shade smooth shade flat uh, this works in uh, uh, edit mode Okay, so you can see that when I'm in object mode, you cannot use them. For that, it's a different thing, but so shade smooth, and then I can go here and shade flat the faces that I want, okay? Uh, one dot edge, okay, so what does this do? Uh, oftentimes, I have to add like one vertex on an edge and then move it somewhere or whatever. So instead of uh, right clicking, subdivide, and then this menu, and then click OK, uh, oops. I can just uh, come here on an edge and just one dot edge and it's automatically like you don't have to click anything any, anymore like I always hate pressing too many buttons to achieve one thing like I just want to click one button and then it's done okay uh, next thing detach you're basically it's just basically split but the same idea like I don't want to go here right click uh, where is it uh, split and yeah it's I don't know it's, it's a bit weird Okay, uh, separate. So if I want to separate this into its own object, I can do separate. And what I also coded into the button, like uh, it automatically resets the origin to this new object. So this is very useful. Otherwise, the, the origin would st will would still stay on this one. Okay, so if we want to join them back. Uh, select this object, select the other one and join and now they are one object again and the or origin is also reset as well. Uh, what if I, let's say, move this uh, origin, let's uh, just uh, move this here, for example, turn it off uh, and now I want to reset it back, so just reset origin, very simple. 
And then I can also do origin to cursor. So it's going to snap wherever the cursor is. So if I move it there, okay. And then I can also have selection to cursor. So it's going to move this uh, selection to cursor. See? All transform, it's basically control A, all transforms. All right. And now, very interesting, we have the flip X, flip Y, flip Z. And uh, pay attention, I'm in object mode. So if I want to flip this entire mesh on the X axis, I can just place the cursor here, wh wherever and flip X, bam. So it's going to do it right there. Or let's say maybe you want to, to duplicate this. So I'm going to hit con uh, shift D, duplicate and flip X. So now you basically have a mirror and you can do this on, on any axis that you want. It's the same logic. If I want to do it on Y, I can just go here and Y or select both of them and flip Y. Okay. Um, and same for flip Z. And now if we are in, uh, now if we are in uh, edit mode, what's going to happen is, let me just extrude a couple of faces here. So if we are in uh, edit mode, uh, it doesn't work based on the cursor, so you can just quickly flip it around. So if let's say I want a, a duplicate, like you just make a duplicate and flip X and move it wherever you need. Okay, so that's that. Um, now about the selection things, like uh, let's say I want to select all of the faces on this uh, side. So I can click one face and then call planner. So it's going to select everything on one side. Okay, it's based on an angle, but yeah, this is more than enough. Uh, angles, it's going to quickly show me where I have angles, basically faces with more than four vertices. And that's really easy to fix. Maybe I can show you a better example here. Let's uh, duplicate this thing. And I'm going to make a cut here with the knife from here to here and enter. So now this face, you can see that it has uh, one, two, three, four, five vertices. So if I uh, click angles, immediately I'm going to see that, okay, th there's an issue here. So I must uh, fix it somehow. And then we also have a non-manifold. Uh, non-manifold... Um, works only in edge mode. So you must be in edge mode here, not in face mode, not in vertex mode, in edge mode. So it's gonna, if you don't understand what non-manifold does, it's uh, basically a simple translation would be that your um, mesh is not watertight. Uh, it, it's based on the normals actually, but this is a good description. So if I do, if I go in edge mode, select one edge and non-manifold, it's gonna show me that, hey, there is something going on here. like. If, if you would submerge this entire mesh underwater, like air bubbles would come out of here. Like that's a, an easy way to understand. So what's going on here? Okay, well, this is uh, not uh, uh, merge the vertices. Okay, so if we go again, see, now that's fixed. And yeah, same thing here. So yeah, you should go and uh, fix your mesh like this. Uh, it's also going to select the edge the outer edge, the boundary, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is pretty obvious. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if there are any uh, issues or uh, you want to submit some feedback or something, like you can go here on my Discord. If you click this button, it's going to give you the invite and here is my website. So any feedback, suggestions, anything of that nature, uh, suggestions, come and talk to me on Discord, right? So that's pretty much it. Take care. Bye-bye.